So the WRC teams have just left the final service for this year's rally. We're about to go and have a chat to our ARC teams. 31 kilometres to go in this year's event. It's been a tough one. Let's catch up with them all, see how they're all feeling before we finish off this weekend. Marcus uh, leading the four-wheel drives, a couple of stages to go. Nerves okay? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's you know, been a difficult morning just to try and maintain the pace and so forth, but um, I think we've got a, a big enough gap now and two stages to go, I think we should be right. People um, who don't aren't involved in the sport don't realise it's hard to, to run with a lead, isn't it? It's hard to manage that sort of the push and the natural instinct to push hard versus trying not to be too silly. It's a fine line. Yeah, I'd much prefer to be, um, be trying to chase someone down than to, to be out the front, you know. So, um, But anyway, um, we've just got to deal with that and, and hopefully um, come home with the win the solo. Mick Patton about to go in those final stages and uh, all clear after two. Could be the championship, mate. Yeah, no, I think we've uh, got about 30 k's to go this afternoon, so we'll just come through there nice and clean and tidy. And, yeah, we made a few adjustments this morning from yesterday, which suited these stages a lot more, and they were good ones again. So, yeah, just putting some more data down in the book for, for this driving this car. But, uh, no, we're just going to keep in the race and go from there. Gerald Schofield, we've been monitoring the fight that you and Mike Bailey have all the time. It's so close between you two. He slipped off the road. You're yep. in third. Big run home, mate. Yeah, unfortunately, um, he's gone, and uh, but I'm still there. I'm still hanging in there, and uh, his stages today were pretty bad. I, I was thinking they were a lot slippier than I was expecting. So, yeah, we're still in there. So uh, we just got to get through these next two, and we're right. Eli, uh, you said steady she goes, but you're a bit surprised at your time. Uh, you know, you're leading the field on your first stage. Yeah, no, I was. Uh, maybe it was a good way to drive through the rough stuff, just a bit cautious and um, just kept it really neat. Like I said, um, very similar to how I drove in Nambucca, but uh, yeah, I think we were 20-something seconds up on Molly, but she's up the pace in the last two stages. I think she's found herself in a battle with Steve McKenzie for today's heat, so uh, it'll be interesting. I'll see if I, I'll do, try and do the same thing through, through Bucca again and uh, see if we win it. Molly Taylor, good to be in a fight. Yeah, leg points is what you're chasing here. Yeah, it's, it's really uh, nice to be actually in a battle after some frustrations over the past few days. And, and look, it's still still a bit mind-boggling. You know, we were driving the, the same as, as we did and we found, uh, you know, a few few things and the spark plugs were were quite uh, quite dirty after the yesterday stages. So um, so we we think it, it's a little bit better there. But um, I think, that, you know, one of the main differences is the stages are just so fast this afternoon and we're not having to you know, slow down and accelerate out of corners. That, that's the only difference, and, and I've been driving the same, and the times are better, so. Oh, the event points are obviously far more uh, valuable uh, than a single leg, so, yeah, definitely just staying in it for the rally. you got a real, um, I guess, uh, plan for this one, haven't you? Sort of been executing plans each day, each stage, rather than just sort of uh, flamboyant, necessarily. It's just quite uh, quite good. It's a bit, bit different to usual, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it that way, but you, you know where I guess I'm leading. Yeah, yeah. Uh, after Queensland, the boys gave me a bit of a sit down and just focus on getting through the rally. So, um, yeah, we've really, I guess, put a uh, good day in on Friday and then just built from there. So, yeah, it's been really good. Tony, we spoke to you yesterday. You were hoping you might get out there today, but the uh, clothing says it all, mate. Yeah, exactly. Um, we pulled the pump out stripped it down and the wire the, the wiring's like blue and melted and hot and I don't know if it's an old age thing or whether it would ran without hydraulic pressure when we um, cut one of the hoses when we crashed it the other day so either way it's um, not fixable and there's none available. Uh, obviously not a component that's normally an issue because you know no, no one has one here you know in the Citroen team not that you'd expect them to have maybe cars with the, uh, parts of this car but uh, you know it's a bit of an unexpected failure probably. 100% we uh, Ron went over to the Citroen boys and they said oh yeah we don't have one and, and why don't you have one and, and he pulled a c couple of engineers aside and they said oh have you ever seen one fail? He said no nah. so it's one of those things that you know it, it goes it's not it hasn't, it hasn't doesn't even have a lifespan yeah. So it's not one of those things you go every 2,000 k's and you replace it. It's, if, it's, if it goes, it goes. If it doesn't go, it's broken. Scrutineer of vest behind you. They're obviously paying a good attention to your door, which you've uh, you borrowed a door by, overnight. Yeah, yeah, very appreciative to Tony. We borrowed a door. It, um, it closes. It's just a bit tricky to close, so I've sort of been climbing in out our inside. Uh, it opens OK. It's um, we just a bit of tape to try and see, keep the dust out and, and do what we're going to do. 